Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and this is five amazing slip joints. Now, this one, to start it off, is the TS, the Tucson TS200. And what makes this one amazing, not only is it M390 and titanium, but it's a titanium integral with a clip which is absolutely amazing because, you know, you don't see a lot of slip joints with a milled clip, a titanium milled clip, a clip at all. And being an integral means this whole handle is made out of one solid piece of titanium, aside from the clip, obviously. But, you know, the scales itself, the handle is one solid piece. Now, they also put a steel, basically a steel stop pin that's on the spring. So this spring is titanium. You can see the cuts right there. Then they put a steel, uh, basically a steel stop pin on the spring. So you have steel on steel contact. Very comfortable in the hand, especially, you know, for how small and compact it is. We have a nice robust blade. blade. It is a little thick probably for this size knife. However, it gets down to a really nice thin edge. It's right around 15 thousandths. Uh, but, you know, that, so that's a nice slicey edge on this clip point blade in M390. And M390 means the edge is going to last a good long time, especially being on a little slip joint like this. You have a nice little nail nick right there. This nice and deep, so it gives you a nice resistance. And the pull... It's pretty strong, but it's very, very easy. Like it's it's very easy to do. So especially with this much of the blade popping out. So very easy. And then the walk and talk. Very nice. And you can see there is one stop on there and then all the way open. Um, nice and solid side to side. I mean, very solid side to side. And yeah, just an awesome little knife. Let's get to the next one. Now, this next one is the Tucson TS-123. Now, this one is awesome because it is an M390, so that's one thing. But also, it's in titanium with copper inlaid inside of it. And you can see the mill lines, how they transition. You can tell this piece was all put together before they did the milling. It looks just beautiful, and the fit and finish of this inlay is just as good as you could get. And it has another titanium milled clip. Um, one reason why I'm not a big fan of slip joints usually is because they don't have clips. You know, I'm not saying, you know, I, I hate them for that reason. There are some I really like, but, you know, it really improves it when I see a clip. So, nice clip. Nice carry. It works really well. And the pull on this one is a little stronger, but you have a nice nail nick, but it is a little stronger. Now, the next thing that's awesome about this is the blade is super thin and it is super thin behind the edge. We're talking 10 thousands behind the edge on this thing. This And it's a full four finger grip, nice strong tension. And we do have a half stop. The sounds are okay. Could be better, but it's still good. And the grind looks nice and beautiful. Like I said, M390 steel, and it is mega, mega slicey. And I like that, like I said, it has a clip, so it's going to be very easy to carry. And you can always take the clip off if you did want to put it into a slip or just drop it at the bottom of your pocket. The the um, the copper will patina over time. You could see it kind of darkening. Um, how it is right now, you could always do a patina, a force patina on it, or just let it age as it goes. No, the clip is not reversible. Um, it looks kind of like it is, but it's not. Now you do have the lanyard pin back there and you do have a steel spring. So all titanium and copper and then a steel spring. So awesome, awesome knife. Let's check out the next one. Now this next one is the Tucson TS 197 now this one oh, the walk and talk is so amazing i love the walk and talk on this and this is like one of my favorite blade shapes especially on 
a slip joint. This is a spear point blade. Now, it is a little more robust. Um, the most robust one yet. Nice, thick blade stock. But in a way, I understand it. Because... This is going to be really good for like drilling a hole. Like say if you're whittling, right? If you're whittling, you might want your tip to be a little thicker to where you're not going to have to worry about it chipping or breaking. This, you will not have to worry about this tip whatsoever. Yet, it's still slicey enough behind the edge to be very slicey. You do get a four finger grip and this one is in bone. Now, I'm not a big fan of the artwork on it, but it's still cool though, especially since it's real bone. Now we have M390 steel, and this is a Wong design, and you can see the choil and the plunge grind is perfect. You'll be able to get a lot of life out of this sharpening it. It gets down to, uh, I think it was a little over 15 thousandths behind the edge. So I think it was between like 15 and 18 thousandths. Now you can see how small the edge bevel is. So probably after sharpening it one good time, it'll probably be closer to 20 thousandths, maybe a little less, which yeah, I think is a little thick for a blade like this or a knife like this. However, for what it is for, I don't think it's that big of a deal because this isn't something that you're doing long duty cutting with. You take it out, you make your cut, you know, maybe do some whittling with it, whatever, and put it back in your pocket. Now it is titanium. They have titanium liners with a steel back spring and we have a steel lanyard hole back here. So if you did want to drop it in a slip or just drop it at the bottom of your pocket, but the blade shape is amazing to me. I would have loved to have seen it with a hollow grind. However, just the way it is, I love it, man. I love it, love it, love it. And the titanium is also really nice. You can see the stop pin inside there for the closed position. So that will probably lock up right there in that groove. But they gave you plenty, plenty of life on that plunge grind. So you're never gonna have to cut in a new choil or anything. This is an amazing, amazing slippy. Um, next. Now, this one's a big dog. We have the Tucson TS-192. Now, what's so amazing about this one? Well, one, this M390 blade is super thin behind the edge. Look how tall it is, first of all. We're talking about 10 thousandths behind the edge. Especially when you get back here, it's even thinner. You can actually see. Look at how thin that is right there. Now, right, right around here in the middle is about 10 thousandths. Super duper slicey. Look at how thin that thing gets. I mean, this thing is mega thin, but it's also tall. So you have insane cutting performance. Then you have this beautiful carbon fiber. I mean, this thing is gorgeous. Even like the, the, the direction and the type of, cause it's contoured. So you do get the piece of the side cuts. So it's really, really nice. Then when we turn it around, face it, you can actually see the side cut section, which is just beautiful. I love that side cut section of carbon fiber. And oh, you can get even better right there. Look at that side cut section. That is just gorgeous. If it'll focus. And you get an insane grip on this thing. This, you know, you you are kind of leaned back a little bit with your palm, but it winds, at least in my hand, it winds up working out because you see how my hand kind of bends right here. That's right where this goes. It nestles right there in that spot, and I'm super comfortable. I can feel the type of leverage I can put into it. Now, usually, it would be like this where your palm is laying across it, and you can do that. You can absolutely do that for push cuts or whatever, but the natural position for me is like this, where this round part goes in my hand instead of this part. So... It does sit forward. And then you have this blade shape that's just going to be insane for utility cuts. And, you know, you do have, you know, it's not perfectly flat. So you do have a little tiny bit of belly. Slicing is going to be insane. It's super comfortable in the hand. You can see the carbon fiber right here is nice and thick where your finger lands. So that's super comfortable. The walk and talk. Not the best, but it is still good. 
and it does have a very strong pull to it. However, because it is as big as it is and you have this nice fuller and you get such a full grip, you can get two full grips and easily open it up. So it's very easy to open up, even though it has a strong pull. You know, it kind of just works in your benefit because it's so big. So this is a big slippy. Now, I would have loved to have seen this one with a pocket clip. Man, I wish they would have put a pocket clip on it. But it is what it is. But Mazwan Mokhtar, he's the designer. And, you know, he just makes awesome designs. One more. Now, this one's not a Tucson. This one is a Kaiser. The Kaiser Zip Slip. S35VN, titanium again, and one of the best clips I've ever used. It is inset with flat screws. This clip works so good in and out of the pocket. Now, another thing besides of how awesome this clip is and that we have titanium and we do have a, a nice back spring right here. You can see the designer right there, but you can get up super close to this blade, full uh, four finger grip. It is nice and thin and compact in the hand. You don't even feel the clip. So it's super comfortable. The next thing is though, it's super easy to do one handed. I can even flick it, then keep it going. <laughs> That's how I like to do it. I like to flick it and then it pops to right there. So I flick it and then I put my thumb there and pop it open. Or you can just follow it right around with your thumb. Or you can pinch it, pull it out, then go. But even the close, super easy. And the way it closes is it goes more than uh, halfway. You see how it's a little bit lower than halfway? So it, it's just super easy to do. So opening and closing is very, very easy. Now the blade is more robust than the rest of the blades on here. You know, it's about 20 thousandths behind the edge. But... You know, like I was saying before, when you're dealing with these small knives like this, yes, I'd prefer a hollow grind on this or a thinner grind, but what you're with what you're doing with this, this ain't going to hold you back too much. And the type of resistance you will get in some of the cuts, you'll only have to do it once or twice, you know, and if you do work with this knife a little bit more than other people, you know, lay back the edge angle a little bit, it will be just fine. We have a pretty robust blade spine. It's not too thick. That is one thing. It is kind of thin, but you know, still, you know, on the about medium range, but nice robust tip. So you're not going to have to worry about the tip, you know, chipping or breaking. You can, you know, drill holes or do your whittling thing or whatever you want. Maybe some little tiny light duty prying, but you have um, a flat grind that is not all the way full flat, but this ledge right here, the transition right here is very subtle. So it is going to act, you know, a little bit like a full flat in the cutting performance. Love this little choil area nice and close to the blade while also being comfortable. And then that'll prevent you like from closing it on yourself too, because you actually stop it when it goes to close. Um, but most of the tension should be pushing back towards the stop pin or towards the spring. So you shouldn't really have to worry about that. The star pattern or whatever you want to call this, um, the milling is really nice in the hand, really nice to the touch. This is just an amazing, amazing slip joint. So there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.